How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel, Sketchy Jeep here. It's been a long, long time, like four or five, maybe even six months since I posted a video. It's just that things have been pretty hectic for me. My job just moved me to the other side of America from Washington, from Virginia to Washington. So that pretty much consumed a lot of my time packing up the house and moving here. Um, but since then, I've got a lot of requests from my social media, Instagram and YouTube to finish talking about or to put out a video on the on in brackets setup that I made for my Gladiator with the diamond back and the front runner. Um, so I went ahead, pretty much got done wrapping up the editing, um, just created the list that I'm gonna have in the description of all the parts required to make this. Uh, so that being said, it's gonna have everything that you need and it is gonna be exact quantities to make exactly what I made. But the great thing about the extruded aluminum is that it's like Legos for adults. So if you have an imagination, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do with this. You don't have to have the same setup I have to recreate this. If you don't have a, a bed cover, you can still do this. If you have a different type of bed cover, whether it's from JCR off road in or another one of those places, Road Armor, it doesn't matter. You can recreate this manipulate it to do whatever it is that you want to do. So this is just a general idea on how to make this or how I went about making it. So stay tuned for more videos. Again, been so busy, but trying to get this one out real quick. Um, watch the video, tell me what you think, leave a comment, share, like, and do all that stuff. And y'all have a good one. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Sketchy Jeep here with another install video. What I'm going to be doing is I'm installing a awning to the gladiator i did go to 80 20 and got some extruded aluminum to make this bracket because again i have the uh diamond back with the front runner rail system and i was just trying to create a bracket for an awning so he let me borrow his awning it's an arb i'm gonna test fit it to make sure everything lines up it's a little bit long but hopefully everything works out so let's make that happen so this is what i'm pretty much working with i have the extruded extruded aluminum I have some brackets to hold it and some plates that I had to drill out a little bit to line up the holes for the uh, ARB awning and some mountain hardware such as the nut plates and a few other bolts and uh, accessories and then there's the awning right here uh, but I believe this is about 80 inches long so I don't know how far it's going to extend over the uh, the Jeep itself and here you can see another bracket that I had to pre-drill this is the lines that I was talking about that I had to drill out so I'm about to get everything uh, test fitted. Now I am going to have to move these back. Like this one, this one's too far forward. I'm putting a bracket right here. So I gotta move this back to line everything up and I have to move this forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get ready to mount this bracket. All right, so what I'm doing next is I have everything set up. I got it spaced out perfectly. I'm taking my rails. And I already got one of the ones routed that's going to be sitting on top of the slat. I'm going to grab this corner bracket and I'm going to feed it. I already got the plate on both sides to go into both the rail that's going straight up and the rail that's already mounted onto the, to the um, diamond back. So I have it in. Slide this one in. Like so. drop it down like that and now all I got to do is tighten everything down hopefully what's happening right here is I'm getting enough um, support on both sides to stabilize this as it's holding on the awning so let me go ahead and tighten this all down Nice and solid. I'm gonna do the same thing right here. It's 
solid. I don't think this is going anywhere. So I'm about to set everything up. The line up and mount the awning. All right, so what I'm doing next is I have these two L brackets. One right here, and I have the other one right here. And because I'm installing it by myself, I'm mounting the L brackets temporarily so that it can support the awning. I can sit on top of here and I can screw the brackets from the side because the bracket is gonna be right here on the side of it. And it's gonna be really hard for me to align all that stuff and tighten it up by myself without these L brackets. So I'm gonna measure from the bottom on both um, aluminum posts, get that measurement for the other L bracket, sit the on on top of that, and then that should support it and I can mount it from the back. So let's see how that works, if that makes sense. So everything's tightened down. So now what I can do with these two L brackets that were holding it right here and right there, so I can just drop it down, put them about right here or something. Then I think these are even strong enough, these brackets, to mount something else onto it. So maybe a high lift. Um, I have a um, traction board mount that also made that can probably fit onto these as well. So I'm really liking this extruded aluminum. It, it leaves a lot of options. There's a lot of options available. Um, I've never worked with it before. This is my first time. I just really rolled the dice. It was somewhat ex expensive. I think I paid about 150 total for everything. The most expensive things were these, I believe it was about more than half of the value. Then the shipping added a few extra bucks to it as well. Had to wait about uh, two, two, three weeks for it to come in. But again, I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these brackets open up the awning and see how everything looks. My shoulder. That was a shoulder workout. Whew, but I figured it out. All right, so this is it. Got it set up so you can see how everything looks. I am 6'2". The 
depending on how tall my hair is, 6'3". But here you can see everything's mounted up. It's looking good. Getting it set up by myself was an arm workout. I like my shoulders. It's Kim right now. I think the gyms are closed. I'll just go ahead and remove and install this every day. And I'll get that shoulder workout. Did you hear that crack? Ooh. That was a shoulder workout. But I like the way it is. This is the, I believe it's 80 inches. Let's measure it right now. Hold on. And we can see the, the width of it. Because that's something I was worried about. The overhang with the gladiator. But... Yep, so it's 80 inches wide, and if I can get a good measurement, see what it is when it's opened up. Try to get something that I want to. I would just use this right here as reference. And it's about 8 feet, about 96 inches or so. so that's what it is, 80 by 96, and I think it's a good setup. <clears throat> just enough. You know, you can sit down, post a chair up, relax, talk to your homies, your friends, enjoy outside. Everything feels pretty sturdy. I was a little worried about it like falling apart while I'm driving down the road, but I tightened down all the bolts. Everything looked good. I ain't no scientist about my angles, my supports. We're going to say it's good. I'm going to give it the sketchy blessing. I actually did not say anything was sketchy throughout this install, but... I'm going to give it the sketchy blessing. So everything looks good. Thank y'all for watching. Um, the link to everything will be in the description below for the, the mounted solution. Got it off from um, 8020. Uh, nothing besides the two bolts that mount it that support it right here. Which you can get at any hardware store. Everything else was got from 8020. Again, I paid about $180 when it was all said and done for everything besides the awning. Now, for my boy to go ahead and sell me this awning because he playing games, then, it, then everything will be complete. All right, so I'm gonna tear it down, get that shoulder workout in, let's do it. I'm going strong. good I'm good shoulder feeling strong everything feeling strong and that's pretty much it that wraps up this video again thank you for watching don't forget to leave a comment below if you got something that you think could be uh, improved on um, like the video subscribe share and all of that thank you